This video includes a paid sponsorship from NordVPN, but I'll talk more about that later. Tesla is much more than a car company and their AI program has the potential to be more valuable than all of Tesla combined. That's why Elon's recent threat of building AI products outside of Tesla, if he doesn't get 25% control of the company, really is such a big deal. In this video, I want to discuss the potential of Tesla AI, Elon's threat, and what this all means for Tesla as a company. I'm John, and this is Cleaner Watt. Back on January 2nd, Elon posted on X.com, quote, Tesla is an AI robotics company that appears to many to be a car company. I believe the reason why Elon is so focused on AI right now is because that's really the next big wave of change, the big technology that's going to change the future. And we're starting to see some implications of that with programs like ChatGPT and of course, Tesla FSD and just the way that AI is being used in our world around us. And Elon knows that's going to be huge in the future and he wants to make sure that Tesla is along for that ride is not only along, but is a leader in that space. However, as Elon posted on X.com on January 15th, quote, I am uncomfortable growing Tesla to be a leader in AI and robotics without having approximately 25% voting control, enough to be influential, but not so much that I can't be overturned. Unless that is the case, I would prefer to build products outside of Tesla. You don't seem to understand that Tesla is not one startup, but a dozen. Simply look at the delta between what Tesla does and GM. As for stock ownership itself being enough motivation, Fidelity and other own similar stakes to me. Why don't they show up for work? When it comes to how much of Tesla Elon Musk owns right now, I came across this document on SEC.gov and it lists Elon Musk as owning 20.5% of the company. However, it looks like that 20.5% does not include the Delaware court's decision to overturn Elon Musk's 2018 compensation package. So it looks like instead, unless Tesla shareholders reinstate Elon Musk's 2018 compensation package, as is written in this electric article, Elon Musk actually owns around 13% of the company. Nonetheless, it looks like Elon Musk recently confirmed his position here that he's uncomfortable building Tesla to be a leader in AI and robotics without having around 25% ownership of the company. Tesla Economics posted on x.com, quote, if Elon gets 25% voting power, Tesla is reincorporated in Texas and compensation package is approved, then AI and robotics stays with Tesla and the company can march on forward to become the largest company in the world. Elon replied to this, yes. However, I don't think legally Elon Musk could actually pull Optimus and their FSD software, for example, program outside of Tesla. Instead, he would have to actually go out, start a separate company and build a new AI product. And what would actually happen is it would slow down Tesla's progress with those two programs. This is actually a topic that was brought up in Tesla's recent investors conference call and Elon Musk replied about this topic, quote, well, I think no matter what Tesla, even if I get kidnapped by aliens tomorrow, Tesla will solve autonomy, maybe a little slower, but it would solve autonomy for vehicles at least. I don't know if we would win with respect to Optimus or with respect to future products, but there's enough momentum for Tesla to solve autonomy, even if I disappear for vehicles. So with that being said, it looks like more than Tesla FSD, it looks like Tesla's Optimus robotics program is really what's on the line here. Now, before I move into the significance and the potential future value of Optimus, this portion of today's video is sponsored by NordVPN. You may not know it, but your online activity is constantly being tracked by the websites that you visit and your location is not private either. But when you connect to the internet through NordVPN, your location is masked and your data is encrypted so you can avoid being tracked whether you are connected at home or to a public connection. When it comes to speeds, NordVPN is twice as fast as the next VPN provider so you can browse safely without sacrificing speed and since they have 5,900 plus servers in 60 countries, you can experience a fast VPN experience pretty much wherever you are, and they allow you to connect up to six devices at one time. 
Beyond the standard VPN service, which is great, they also offer a threat protection feature for desktop apps that blocks web trackers, ads, and malicious websites and files. Check out everything that NordVPN has to offer by going over to nordvpn.com forward slash cleanerwatt. And if you sign up for a two year plan using this link, you'll get four months extra and a huge discount. And don't worry, it's risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. Okay, moving on to the future value of Optimus. Elon recently predicted during a Tesla investors conference call that Optimus will be more valuable than the rest of Tesla combined, which is very significant when you consider the potential FSD robotaxi potential and Tesla energy as well, not to even mention their automotive business. As I've mentioned in past videos, Tesla's progress with Optimus has been very rapid and impressive because the program was first announced back in August of 2021. And when you look at the prototypes that Tesla has today, it's hard to believe that the program really began not that long ago. I covered this in depth in a previous video, but Tesla did recently release a demo video of Optimus, and it showed the humanoid robot autonomously sorting 4680 battery cells, at first in a training environment, and then later on at one of Tesla's factories. The video then shows a glimpse into the training process of Optimus, and also shows the robot smoothly walking through an office. So Tesla's progress once again with Optimus has been extremely rapid and Elon is still predicting that Optimus could actually be doing useful tasks in a Tesla factory by the end of the year. In addition, by the end of next year, Elon has predicted that they may even be ready to start selling Optimus robots externally. So while when Tesla's Optimus program was first announced, it seemed like it was going to be a long time before they could actually sell these robots, it looks like that date is actually approaching closer than you might think. Now, of course, this date could be wrong and it could take a few more years, but nonetheless, the actual date doesn't matter as much as the potential itself. Now, when it comes to the potential size of their Optimus program, if it's going to be bigger than the company itself, we need to look at some big portions of the company for our estimations. And I came across this ARK Invest projection for Tesla, and they have their bear case and their bull case for their outcome in 2027. And you can see there, they have their potential revenue numbers for the electric vehicle business and also the autonomous ride hailing services, so the Tesla robo taxis. And you can see there their bear case for electric vehicle revenue in 2027 is around $346 billion and their bull case is around $528 billion. For their bear case, they see Tesla delivering around 10.3 million cars in 2027 and their bull case, 20.7 million cars. Now, of course, EV demand has slowed down a little bit, much in part thanks to the economy. And these numbers might need to be adjusted a little bit. But nonetheless, even if this doesn't happen in 2027, if it takes a few more years for Tesla to reach this kind of revenue, the truth is with Tesla's more affordable vehicles coming in the somewhat near future, I believe Tesla will see huge automotive revenues and their automotive revenues will grow in the future. So let's just say that there is potential for their automotive revenue to reach around $400 billion to $500 billion in the future. When it comes to Tesla's energy business, which is a growing part of their business, Elon Musk has previously predicted that their energy business will be around the same size as auto in the future. So we can say that in the future, there is a big potential for their energy business to be somewhere around 400 to $500 billion of revenue a year. When it comes to their FSD software program and their robo taxi program, I believe it's very easy to see a path forward to 400 plus billion dollars of revenue per year with just that program. So when you add up the future potential of Tesla's auto business, their energy business and their FSD business as well, that's over a trillion dollars in potential. So if their Optimus program is going to be bigger than the rest of Tesla combined, this seems to imply that Elon Musk believes that their Optimus program is a trillion plus dollar opportunity in the future. So this is a big program if Elon is right. Now, will there actually be enough demand for a humanoid robot to be able to have trillion dollar revenues from this program? Well, if Tesla is able to truly solve and create a humanoid robot that is really useful in the factory and at home, there will be huge demand for the robot, especially if Tesla can keep the price low enough. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if the initial robots are quite expensive. However, 
at scale, it looks like these robots will cost less than half the cost of a car. Elon Musk recently replied to Sam Chorus on X.com, and Sam wrote, quote, A humanoid robot is less than a tenth the weight of a car. Can the manufacturing ramp be 10x that of a vehicle? Seems like the constraint is going to be software capability, not manufacturing capability. Elon Musk replied, Complexity per unit mass is much higher with humanoid robots, but I still think it ends up costing less than half of a car. Elon Musk also replied to Kristen Netten, who wrote, So 25k to 30k cost for a humanoid robot? To which Elon replied, less over time. So if Tesla's revenues as a company in the future, without their Optimus program, are around $1.2 trillion or so, and that's the numbers that I talked about previously, and those are really rough estimates, round numbers, not really including everything around Tesla, but just their biggest business units. And if each robot cost $25,000 or so, that would mean Tesla needs to sell around 48 million robots per year to reach that $1.2 trillion of revenue in the Optimus program. Obviously, the Optimus robot could end up costing more than that, but let's just go with that number. Is there enough of a market for around 48 million Optimus robots being sold per year? Well, I think if you look at the commercial applications of a generalized humanoid robot that is able to accomplish basic routine tasks in a factory or, say, on a construction site, or to replace employees doing very repetitive or dangerous tasks. If a company goes out and purchases a $25,000 or $30,000 humanoid robot, and that replaces an employee that's making like $40,000 a year or more, that easily and very quickly pays for itself, that robot. So it's a no-brainer for companies if these robots can save them a ton of money. When it comes to domestic applications, for those who are disabled or elderly and need help around the house, a fully functional Optimus robot would be a huge help. And I'm sure there are plenty of people that would be willing to pay twenty-five dollars or $30,000 for a robot that could help them around the house. In addition, beyond that, for those who value time more than money and just want an assistant to help around the house, I could see people paying for that as well. In addition, I could see a path where instead of selling Optimus robots, Tesla instead leases them out or rents them out, and that could potentially produce way more income than selling the Optimus robots. They could have some kind of program where maintenance is included and you basically don't own the robot, but the robot does work for you and you pay a monthly payment. I can see that potential revenue being greater than just simply selling the robots. Now, what about the competition? There are, of course, other companies working on humanoid robots. Well, this is something that Elon Musk addressed in that recent conference call when he said, quote, I think Tesla is best positioned of any humanoid robot maker to be able to reach volume production with efficient inference on the robot itself. Elon also said, I mean, this perhaps is a point that is worth emphasizing. Tesla's AI inference efficiency is vastly better than any other company. There's no company even close to the inference efficiency of Tesla. We've had to do that because we're constrained by the inference hardware in the car. We didn't have a choice. So with that being said, I believe we need to take Elon's threat here seriously because it would be a shame for Tesla's AI efforts to slow down and have Elon Musk actually shift his focus elsewhere. I would love to know what you think about all this. Do you believe that the Optimus program will be as big as Elon believes it will be and will actually be more valuable than the rest of Tesla combined? Or do you believe that this will actually never happen? Let me know in the comments section below. I'd also like to say once again, thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Once again, make sure to check out what NordVPN has to offer at nordvpn.com forward slash cleanerwatt. And if you sign up for a two-year plan using this link, you'll get four months extra and a huge discount. I'd also like to say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.